Welcome everybody to Banana Bread Trades. My name is Goose and today we are going to be going over how to set up the DOM. Now if you don't know, the DOM is a fantastic tool that allows you to see the number of buy and sell orders placed at various prices around whatever product you are trading. This can be really useful to see big buys and big sells at certain prices and maybe see where all the interest is at and where to wait to place an order. Now, as you can see, my DOM is a very, very simplified version that's just showing the buys and the sells at the prices. Quantower has a lot of different features that you can put on the DOM and I will link their guide down below. It'll describe what everything does and how to get them on your chart for this video i'm just going to be showing how i set up my dom to look like this all right so let's get started here we're going to go to the top of the screen and select the dom tab once that's selected we want to select the product that we will be trading for me i will be trading es now that that's open we need to do a little bit more work to make it pretty I'm going to deselect the trading window because i will not be taking any trades on the dom i take all my trades off the chart now this is personal preference, but I'm going to select keep in view and outright. That way when I'm moving around, I want to see different prices. It'll bring it back to the middle of the window automatically. Next, we want to right click these three little lines at the top left of the screen and click settings. Now, if you want to see each individual tick, deselect the custom tick size button but I just want to see the whole price. That way I can see more levels in one screen. So I'm going to make that selected and make sure that the price is one. So it's just showing one point after the other. These are combining the four ticks into just one price. Then we're going to scroll down a little further down here. And as you can see, the buys are on the left and the sells are on the right. I want them both to be on the same side for space. So I'm going to Deselect the split size columns. And then now they're all on the same side. Now you may see that there's only 10 showing above and below. We're going to select this button here and put in 100, number of levels. Now we can see 100 levels above and below. So that should be plenty for here. You can do more, you can do less. It just depends on the speed of your computer. Now, this is all personal preference down here as well, but I don't want to see any of this garbage that's on here. I'm, again, all my stuff is going off the charts, so I'm going to deselect the level one bar. I'm going to deselect allow new stop loss and take profit. This is just so I don't accidentally put a bracket on the DOM. And then we want to go over to position bar here and deselect that as well so it doesn't show us you know all our information here at the bottom either again i don't need that i'm looking at the chart for that and there we go so now we want to get rid of these showing where our sell position is our buy position is and this imbalance i don't want that on the screen again looking at the chart for that so i'm going to right click these columns up here and then i'll bring up this panel and I'm going to deselect buy, deselect sell, and deselect imbalance. Now that those are deselected, our DOM looks more useful. Now let's say, okay, I got my ES DOM made, but I also want to see an NQ DOM. You just right click these three lines and go to duplicate panel. Now you have another DOM, exactly the same settings, you can type in NQ. And maybe find it here. You might have to scroll a little bit. Find your front month. And there, now you have the NQ DOM up as well with the same settings. Now, I can just easily slide these here in the middle of my charts. Hardly takes up any room. And bang. There I got the DOM. Now, if you guys got any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I answer everything I see in the comments. Um, if you have any other questions, concerns about how I set up the rest of my charts. I'll link that in the description. I made a whole other video on how I did those. And yeah, that's all we got for today. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.